Welcome everyone to Ebony Throne Time with Viri from Server 360. We're doing a little bit of live action on Battle of Constantinople today. Uh, I was playing for the first uh, 45 minutes on my phone just for the fact that uh, it's much quicker and I can use my thumbs. Using a mouse is not ideal for uh, battling just because of the things you have to do. Uh, anyways, I kind of want to go through some of what we have done in the first 45 minutes. And uh, as you can see here, we have a completely blue map. Completely blue map. Uh, that's what you want. Blue is for your home team and red is for the enemy. And as you can see here, it looks like they're holding, uh, not for long, um, Constantinople itself. They're trying to gain any points possible. So let me get into the scores real quick to show you where we stand. Uh, we had two big rallies uh, against this K-35 right here. Um, about a half hour into Battlefield, um, they were lacking the players. So we what we did is we cut the ports off. We cut their legs off. Um, that's how I like to think of it, uh, by obtaining all eight ports. Uh, one in each corner and then two in the middle, one and one. So uh, the biggest advice I can give any team is to take the ports. Uh, in BOG and BOC, it's much easier if you have a strong team or enough players um, to sit one player by each of the ports and constantly occupy them. In this case, um, we were about tied up, I think nine players to nine players when we got close to uh, making a decision to zero the K-35. Uh, so it was pretty easy to do that. If you have more players and strong players, I mean, it's, it's going to be an easy win for you, for anyone out there. Uh, so let's go into what we did. <clears throat> Uh, we'll get into the battlefield reports, and it uh, looks like I had some kind of defense one here. Oh, somebody tried to attack. Um, where was I sitting? Oh, I was sitting at the rally hall. Okay, so good. Um, we'll go back in there, and what I want to look at, let's see if we can find those. Um, here's a good one. All right, so... This was one of, this looks like to be our second rally on this guy, uh, Red Rain. Uh, no, it was Run Rally. This is a, uh, we had cut the ports off uh, from them before this guy entered. So he was stuck in his own home territory and we were lucky enough to find him and set a rally. And basically he was ghosting most of his troops. I mean, he was at, uh, I think, 400 and some million power or 600 million power at the time, but that's not the one I want to look at. I want to look at our rallies. Okay, so this is our second rally on Talos Cooper. He's this, the 35. Here's our first rally. So uh, this one here we lost, but we knew we would lose. Our first rally we would lose. Uh, we decided to send horses and siege um, and just for the fact that he had a lot of ground in there. And we'll take a peek at that battle detail to show um, all the players on my side. You can see I sent high mounted. I don't have a lot of lower mounted um, troops <clears throat> uh, like some people. My layers on those since I was zeroed a few months ago, I haven't rebuilt those um, up to what maybe they should be. But uh, no worries. I still have T-14s and I expected to lose them. Let's go into the defender side. You can see he had lots of ground. That's why I instructed my group to uh, send horses and siege. You see a siege did not take any damage, um, which is expected, but uh, we cleared out his ground troops. You can see this all the way down, his ground troops. He had lots of, or he, she, I'm not sure, it looks like a, uh, a male. We cleared his ground troops and We'll go back out of here, and you can see we uh, wounded 14, almost 15 million troops. Uh, let's take a look at the buffs. On my buffs, I had buff for ground already, so um, but my mounted was quite high for me, 1,039% um, for the attack. Um, and, uh, of course, uh, he has ranged Monarch gear on, um, and then he has a good siege, a good siege attack, so that's why he saved a lot of those. However, our next rally, now remember, we cut off their legs by uh, 
uh, taking all the ports, so he could not move. Um, I guess he could ghost as much as he could, but we were fairly quick on setting these rallies. Um, I wish I could show you that live action uh, when we did it, but um, again, uh, working from my phone, I can't record as well. So, um, uh, decent uh, Johnson here, 5.4 mil. Uh, my Scipio is pretty stout. I, I like uh, his power there. Uh, he does need some work, but our second attack is definitely ground, ground and siege. We want to eliminate uh, the rest of his troops. And as you can see, we've got almost 18 million troops from this. Um, I got wounded 318,000, um, and the rest of the group here, uh, about 2 million out of the 7.2 million that they reigned, me, uh, reigned the rally with. Um, so we'll go into the battle details. And as you can see now, his siege were over, oh, what, 40%? Oh, no, more than that. 60% um, wiped. I mean, uh, look at this. We just cleared him out, knowing uh, sending siege and ground would take care of that and picked up a, you know, a few ranged troops here and there. And uh, But anyways, that's... That's how it's done, at least at our level. If you want to see the big guys, then uh, get online and find some of their stuff. They have some massive, crazy rallies. These guys that are 10 billion, 15 billion in power and just have a super squad. It's really fun to watch those guys too. But for you lower um, uh, ranked players, lower level players and newer to the game, um, this kind of gives you a detail of what, you know, what, what to look forward to. Um, I know I'm helping another server right now, try to help them understand what's what can be uh, used in battlefields, helping to understand the battlefields uh, better and what's best to do, in my opinion. Um, sometimes that doesn't go over so well because uh, newer players think they know everything, which is okay. Uh, that's okay too. But any advice I can give uh, anyone is, is uh, a real pleasure to me, uh, at least in my experience. So... Okay, it doesn't look like there's too much going on here. I'm just going to, let's see. I, I don't even know what's in there. I know whatever is in there I should beat. So I'm just going to send a, um, uh, a rally from here. Or not a rally, but a march. Let's try to speed this up and get whatever troops are in there, which is probably nothing. Um, they know they can't win, so they're just going to try to occupy and get a few points however they, they see fit. Let me cancel that. Let's see if we do have any troops that we nope nobody was in there there's no reports so i'm occupying that building without any damage to myself or the enemy um but i am going to pull that out because uh the person that is close to there i think he still has some troops we weren't able to get him uh no not this one there's another well she might have some troops there are some other uh there's one other player um uh, that I believe still has some troops left. And what I don't want to happen is I have my ground march in there and thinking I'm just going to hold it and they send uh, some horses in there to eliminate me. Um, and, and especially some lower end horses that could damage my ground uh, pretty well. Um, okay, let's see what a battle report. Uh, defense is one. Okay, 16-7, okay, that's a good one. Uh, he was attacked probably, uh, let's see where he was attacked. Okay, he was attacked directly. Um, if, if you click on the report itself and click right up here, don't click the player. If you're trying to find a player, click the player. But if you're trying to find where the battle happened, just click up here, it'll tell you. Uh, right where it, where it happened, and you can uh, go from there. Uh, I do that a lot with scout reports. I'll see the scout report, and I'll click on that area just to see, okay, what are they doing? What are they scouting? You know, what, what's going on here? Um, or, or defense lost or attacks won. I try to find out who's doing what, and then if they need some help, I'll jump over there or send a fast march to help my, my player out. And there we go. So... If I explode this up, uh, you know, it's, it's almost impossible. It, it is impossible for these guys to win unless they have some K-35s that are going to enter the battlefield late in the game. Uh, but you see they have zero ports. 
And what will happen is, is if these K35s enter late in the game, uh, we will find them out. Okay, a couple guys that are missing from there, force ported. Uh, we will see them in their area, in their start area. And I will send a scout or someone else will send a scout to see what kind of troops they have. We will make a determination from there. And it doesn't have to be a quick determination because if they're a, a big K-35, they're not going to be able to ghost all their troops. So we'll set a rally based off the report and, um, and zing them. Okay, there's another good one. All right, this is the guy right here, Red Rain. He's the one that uh, still had some troops from the beginning. Let's look at what kind of power level he's at. So he's lost. Uh, he's lost everything almost. He might have a couple of troops left, but I uh, highly doubt it. Uh, okay, so back to the score detail. You can see this is a good one for us. Um, for our level, you know, we like to score above 10,000 uh, each time. Uh, normally, I like to be the top guy just because I'm looking for those individual points for All-Stars um, and being ranked in that list uh, for the additional things that you can get. But, hey, this is a team event, and I'm just happy that all of us came together. You can see uh, we have five five players in, within the top six. Jump one, we have um, SU. That's my main BFF in the game. Uh, she's doing well. Uh, I know early on I was trying to get a rain over to her, but it was a little bit too late. Um, the K-35 uh, had sent a few attacks and got her got her down in power, and I think she ported out. I don't believe she force ported, at least from what I could tell, but um, uh, here she is. Good deal. She's trying to get whatever she can from... Let's, let's just send um, an attack. Let's just see what we can do here. He's got troops coming back. And the glitch. The all horrible glitch. Now I've lost my opportunity because the troops were entering back into the enemy's uh, keep. And it glitched out and it's too late. He's going to be ghosting those. So I'm not going to even attempt that. Uh, during battlefields, BOG, BOC, BOCH, which is Shalons. Um, lots of your teammates need to send uh, reports, scout reports of of everything. Everything an enemy is occupying and everything that an enemy's keep may have. Uh, it's important for that to happen so you effectively, effectively get your attacks in and score well. Uh, it's all about the points. And if you can't score points, you cannot win. And if you cannot hold the portals, then you will not win either in most cases. Uh, so again, let's take a look at the score. We're doing quite well. And um, no doubt in my mind, we have one hour left unless K-35s come in and start doing some major damage on our wounded troops um, or troops left in our keep from the uh, prior rallies. I doubt they will win. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, battlefield map. Up here, you're going to see each of the participants in the teams, we have 18 players, and in red, as I said earlier, is going to be the enemy. They have 12 players. Makes it almost impossible unless they have 12 K-34s, 35s to really run us out of town and win the game. Uh, as I said earlier, all the ports need to be taken. We have 40 out of 40, and they have zero. So any new player that comes into the game, again, I'll reiterate, they cannot port from this area at all. Um, they are stuck. So they either have to ghost or lose troops because uh, the fact of the matter is we're going to hunt them down and try to get more points for our rankings in Battlefield. Okay, let's see what else is going on here. I don't see any shares. Uh, looks like some, some fake rallies are being set just to ghost. All right, let's take a peek at... Whoops. SU defeated the Rally Hall, which is good. So someone is still trying to... Uh, oops, Rally Hall's up here. Let's go see what that is. Rally Hall here. And let's let's trace this guy back. Let's see what he took it with. Okay, he took it with a march. Um, looks like Minamoto, I can't really tell. But let's see where he's at. And let's see if we can get a hit on this guy. It looks like... Looks like uh, Sue is going to go there. I'm going to teleport closer. This is my strategy is I teleport outside of their view as much as possible. And when I see that 
march get close i'm going to prepare my march okay so it looks like that march is getting closer and sue is watching too but it's always good to have two people trying to tack because one person if sue gets there too late too early uh, then I, I have the opportunity of let's send a ground march march speed up all right did sue get them sue is still going there so let's see what that battle report look at that 24.9 million uh let me share this to boc chat so they can see uh what's going on let me see we have another scout here looks like nothing okay so let's go back into that report real quick the one i just attacked um she had uh, a march coming back and so you try to time it to where you can get her troops um some people are very good at at getting their troops um kind of tricking you as the as you see the the constant line of their march coming back it's going at one speed um but typically for me i will wait and wait and wait depending on how far away it is and then when I'm a quarter to 30% away from my keep of those troops returning, I'll speed it up real quick and I'll find, you know, I'll find uh, an enemy keep or a boss to rally or ghost those troops on uh, because I know someone is looking at that and they want to attack me. So um, in this case, Lady Macdeath um, found her Lady Macdeath by the hands of my sword and wasn't fast enough to ghost. Um, so my apologies, but this is a fun battlefield and uh, it's to be expected all right um okay so not much else let's let's take a peek at what else we got going on here doesn't look like anything else we have a couple players in our own starting point um they've decided okay miss d is uh and she's just chilling just doing her thing out there and then we have max um who is just uh, sitting tight as well, but they're you know at least participating here. Uh, what's important for the smaller players that join the battlefield is that you you participate. Uh, it's okay if you get zeroed. We don't want you to get zeroed, but it's okay. What we do want you to learn is to learn how to ghost and ghost all your troops quickly. Send lots of scout reports to the battlefield chat so the larger players can make a determination on whether they attack, rally, um, you know, play some tricks on them, whatever. Every person in your, on your team is a, is, uh, is important. So make sure you learn, you know, everyone in, on my team, we try to stay next to one building. Um, we allow the, the large keeps that have some power to port around. So we don't use too many ports, uh, especially in a very, uh, highly competitive event. Um, that the enemy has some power. So sticking by the, the portals, the temples, um, whatever building that you guys assign your team to, have them stay there. Ghost your troops. Practice ghosting those troops. Uh, it's very important. Um, and then using one small march. It could be one troop. It could be 125 troops. It could be 10,000 troops. But you want to minimize whatever damage or points you give away if a larger keep attacks you. So if you're ghosting all your troops and you only have uh, a few troops that you're utilizing to continue occupying a building or taking it back, then you're, you're doing your, your team a huge favor because you're not losing those points, but you're being an effective uh, teammate by providing detailed information with scout reports and having the other team port around. By you just sitting at a port, uh, especially you know a, a K30 or below, uh, a big boy is going to come in and he won't scout you. He's just going to hit you. Uh, I can't tell you how many times I've set a trap knowing that a big boy is going to come and hit, let's say, Max here. I'll send a, a ground troop or archer troop uh, attack or a re reinforcement. And the big boy hits him, loses tons of points, has to either speed up his heels or do without those troops for the rest of the event. Um, it's a massive help when the little guys are doing uh, exactly as I detailed. So just keep that in mind. Everyone has their own uh, strategy about the game uh, throughout battlefields. Um, that's just what we do. We cut the legs off. That's the most important. You've, you cut those teleports out from the other team, making them at zero. They're stuck in place. So when they're stuck in place, 
you're thinking, okay, well, if we force port them somewhere, how will we find them? You're going to go to Knight's Hall. Knight's Hall is the snitch that will tell you where every enemy player is by sending out these undead march or yeah, the, you know, the Knight's Hall marches. Um, it's like undead. And you just follow the lines out and you can follow them to however many players are on there. As long as you hold this Knight's Hall, uh, then you're going to find the enemy. Um, you cannot uh, arrest warrant in this game. Um, you cannot share an, um, uh, certain, th I think, let me, I, I don't want to say the wrong thing here. I've been beat up on that. Let's go find um, an enemy real quick. And I'll give you, I don't think you can share the location um, in your AC or your uh, battlefield chat when you click on a keep. And sorry for the slowness here. Again, working from a computer is not very fun. Okay, so that guy's not even there. He must have been force ported. Uh, let's see. Well, let's just go here. I think I, this person is still up near Constantinople. Nope, not there either. Okay, well, I'm having difficulties here. But let's just click on, let's click on MD here. Um, Detail, detail, locate coordinates. You cannot do this. You cannot arrest warrant um, even your own teammates in battlefields, uh, which is fine. You know, I don't care. I mean, they make it a little more challenging that way, uh, which is cool. Uh, let's see here. Defense is one. Okay. Mr. EC got uh, a win. Reinforce, please. I don't think we need to reinforce, Sue. I'm not sure why. Nobody coming there. We do have a white line going back. Let's see what this guy, this is uh, Lady Macduff again. So she has another troop. Let's look at her power. Uh, still 147.8, not bad. Let's, and I'm still here. So what is she doing? She must have a skeleton crew trying to make the rounds by occupying. And I love this about people. Uh, no matter how many troops, if you're zeroed, <laughs> Uh, and your team is losing, uh, continue playing. It's all about points. You can still take portals. You can still scout. You can still do things um, to help your team get points. Uh, whether you win or lose, it doesn't matter. It's all about the experience, and it's all about helping your team uh, get points, no matter how high they are, for the rankings. Um, you know, You may just have a bad week. Uh, but your other scores throughout the other weeks are good. You know, that that's going to, you know, it could make or break your season. Let's go ahead and send uh, another attack on her. Okay, it looks like it's an archer. We'll send him. All right, speed up. Okay, and do we get the maybe one million or less uh, on that? Let's see. Uh, no, it was a very skeleton crew, or I, I, or I hit it badly. I didn't hit it at the right time. Uh, nonetheless, she still knows I'm there and still watching her. Um, don't make the mistake of these slow marches coming in. You have a lot of people say, "Oh, hey, a march coming back." No, 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 no. This is coming from the Knights Hall. When you see this siege machine here, and the slow march, that is a uh, march from the Knights Hall. And you see, once you hold March uh, the Knights Hall, it just constantly keeps going and going and going. So, um, uh, you know, just be be wary of that. I mean, the Knights Hall is important. Uh, let's let's see. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, that's going to do it for me. I don't uh, I don't want to bore you with more uh, details, but I th I hope you know some of this. Uh, of, of looking around, especially for you newer servers that haven't been able to join battlefields yet. This gives you um, an idea of what the map looks at, looks like. Um, I did have um, a short video that detailed, you know, uh, some of the buildings here on BOC and BOG. Uh, again, the biggest difference with BOC and G is that BOG has monsters you can kill for additional points. BOC does not, but it has the Knight's Hall, which is important. Uh, and then... Um, uh, these crystal mines. So uh, again, this this is not activated right now, but it's um, it's supplies that once it is activated, you will uh, want to occupy um, this crystal mine because you'll get those supplies. 
All right. Well, uh, thanks again for joining everyone. If you guys like my channel uh, or like my uh, content, down here in the right-hand corner, hit that subscribe button, like the videos, send me a message. Uh, send me a message either through uh, YouTube here or you can email me directly at viribus, V-I-R-I-B-U-S, 007 at gmail.com. And until next time, live life first, play Ebony second, and I'll see you on the battlefield.